once that is dealt with, there's no reason for it. Inquisitor is always sent to to dealt with monsters and the plagues of the like, mainly magical things <clears throat> and the like. If he doesn't find any that here, other than that what he's dealt with, then the garrison would be reduced down to what it was before. Just a normal garrison at the embassy, and the ships would be turned away and go home, because there would be no reason. It would be the same plan as your dad said. Once the robber baron is taken care of, then now the Radaz would have their troops fully back in there in control. There's no reason for them to be here. Other than the garrison being here that needs to be here, and then to pay out whatever monetary concessions they need to, to pay for what they did here. So you do think it's going to be a, okay, job done, bye, kind of thing? I mean, that's the way your father kind of painted the picture to me. Uh, that's how I comprehended it would work, is that he's that's... only working with the Imperials long enough to get the uh, robber baron under <clears throat> control. That's only if we can capture the robber baron and then turn him into an example so that his men come back over here. If it's a fucking war between the robber baron and the imperials, if we kill the robber baron, or the imperials kill the robber baron, then his men aren't going to come back, which means that we are under manned here, which means the Inquisition and the imperials are going to have to stay here because we're facing down the Vapex as well. So if we don't play this exactly right, they're just going to stay here. And quite frankly, Faye, you've proven yourself to be a incredibly capable alchemist to this inquisitor to the point where you're starting to cure this thing that even these inquisition people haven't been able to do you've proven yourself worthy to him you think he's going to let you go at the end of this i'm not going to be going anywhere so i'm going to be staying here that might not be up to you if he decides you're valuable to him he might just take you with him and then you would be doing things behind bars like you've been avoiding anyway. I'm just saying be careful who you're in bed with. Because at the end of the day, he's not serving you, he's not serving the people here. He's serving the Inquisition and the Imperium. And we know what the Imperium yeah. have done. The main thing, the main point of this, Kyler, was to get it cleared up to where I can finish the work freely without worrying about someone being killed so that way I can cure our friends and then whoever wants to leave may leave do what you gotta do but just be careful how it plays out when things are done and things start yeah. to land well let me let me ask you this if anything I can at least be the eyes and ears within the clinic <clears throat> one that is other than other than Miss Ladia At least, at least if they have me, and listen, if they have me administering, if they allow me to go in and out of the embassy, helping cure these people and do treatments, that means I can keep my eyes and ears and open for you and your father. Let you know the comings and goings, what I hear and see. Maybe if I worded it in that, Monica, maybe you won't be so mad. It's going to be a hard sell for Ron, I'll be honest. Then why not just let him just keep being the happy lord that he is? He's not a know? happy lord, <laughs> Faye, you know that. You can't keep things from him. The, the only reason we've survived as far as we have is because he's known things and been able to counteract them. The times where we've lost mm -hmm. people is when we've been an, at a disadvantage and not known things. Mm -hmm. Unfort unfortunately, he couldn't counteract this because yeah. he already had orders from Baron and Mem. If I wasn't to work with them, I was to be arrested. Well, you've definitely got a target on your back now. So I should take this fucking cure is what you're telling me? Otherwise I'll turn into a shroom when I die? <laughs> well, if anything... It would make you the perfect fighter against it. It means it wouldn't have any Monica sway over you because you'll be immune to it. That's not gonna... It tastes like... It tastes like shit, though. Most of them do, I'll be honest, Faye. You don't do a great job of flavoring them. Oh. Maybe drop some cinnamon in or something. 
Oh, you weren't kidding. That's fucking gross. So I'm good now? <coughs> it take it about a couple minutes and it should be into your system pretty well. Great, I can fight mushrooms when they show up, <laughs> even though I shouldn't have to because the Inquisition's gonna handle them, supposedly. That's the hope. Right. My main fear is there's a bigger thing that's coming, so... I don't need all the help we can get, whether it is the enemy of my enemy. Yeah. Well, I won't keep you here any longer. Okay. You have to sit down with him and tell him one day. But... I know. I will. You gonna leave that here? Yeah, we'll go... Um... Uh, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's mine um, now. I'm going to... No, you can't have my magical... Oh. And I... Ha... I have something that might brighten his mood. Maybe. If it comes to pass. I'm working on something... Special. That I hope... Will... I hope make you both make you both happy, hoping. <laughs> I'm yeah. working hard on it. Good news would be very handy right about now. <clears throat> Are you uh, heading back to the grove? Well, I'm going to head to see Miss Lonnie because she wants to speak for a little bit. But yeah, the plan is to try and get back to the grove, but I'm not sure. Um, Miss Lorelai warned me something when they went to go fight orcs. Something had the orcs running away. Something spooked them, and I'm thinking it was Strider, more than likely. <sighs> that makes sense, I suppose. Alright, well, if I'm still around when you're done with your conversation, I'll come with you. Make sure you get okay. there, okay? Um, if not... I'm, I'm gonna leave... I'm gonna put on my sheet and we'll leave four ingots down below for you to make into a grappling hook. Oh, okay. in here. That's one grappling hook, didn't you? To... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's two silver. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. And she's left four iron ingots with you. To make one grappling hook. One grappling hook on it. For Nif Nemelorian. Let me put it on here. Two silver. Yes. Two silver. Um, that'll be done on the sixth of the month. Good. Day sixty-six of this fucking journey. Grapple. Look. Okay. <sighs> oh, not good. She holds a scroll to you. You gonna hit me again? You know what scroll that is. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I'm gonna write some more down for you. All right, give me a second. Pull something like that again, and, and I will. Kyler, your father's here. Hmm. Yes. He's back. Where did he go? He's outside dealing with the retinue of people that once again ended up here. Yeah, they do that. Uh, you go by Lady on on Onry? Is that correct? Lady Omri or all I know. Omri? Lady Omri. That's a pretty name. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. He carries herself well. Is she a knight or something? Yeah, something like that. Mm. Does a Mr. Thorn sound familiar to you? Mr. Oh. Thorn? No. I don't recognize the name. Why? While you guys were gone, the mill was broken into. I chased off the people that were in there, and then about eight more came. I had to fight them for a bit. And apparently a Mr. Thorn sent them, because the mill is more active. So I was hoping that you knew something about it. No, this is the first time I've heard this name. What are they, a bandit? They have to be. Some sort of would be my guess. <coughs> the letter that I got from it. I mean, I can talk to Marco and get a patrol going out there every hour or so, but they won't be able to be there all the time. Well, this would probably be better in your hands then. A letter I took off of one of them. What does it say? I don't remember it entirely. Other than the mill being active, possible splendors in there from a Mr. Thorn. I'll look into it. I can't guarantee I'll find anything. My hands are tied up with what's happening to the north, but I will ask a favor of Marco. Have about three men on horseback at least make a show. We're going to and from the mill on patrol, so the road stays safe. You said there was an altercation. Did anyone get killed? Well, yes. <laughs> the someone from that came back. I had to uh, <clears throat> kill. Then we can expect retribution if it is abandoned. All right, not your fault. That would have to happen. I also <clears throat> left two sabers for you. I will melt them down and start repairing people's things. A lot of people's armor and weapons were destroyed at Corona. Have you been told about what we found there? Mm, no. I hey, there was some sort of... Glossed over it. Chamber. Under the city. Uh, we knew there were things under the city. There was an aqueduct that was to be expected, but it connected to something much older. There was an old dead tree down there, surrounded by crystals. We didn't have time to look at it. But I will be honest. I have appealed to the Baron of Mem to send soldiers there to try and rescue some of the people left behind. He will have his decision from me by morning, but if they go, you should take your yours, you and yours. It seems like it's something that pertains to you. The best way I can put it is it reminds me of what you all told me at Gillimore. Mm. Mm. Something left behind. Sounds like something also that Mother mentioned when y'all went down to Fair Hollow, a tree being down there as well. I don't know anything about the connection of it all, but it was there. Mm. I'm sorry I don't have more information about this man. I can try and put feelers out, <clears throat> if I hear anything, I will tell you right away. Alright. And by my feelers, I mean yeah. your feelers. What is, uh, what was his name again? Mr. Thorn. Okay. Thorn. Mr. Thorn. I will put some feelers out. Sounds like a anagram or something. Obviously not his real name. No. <clears throat> of course you know that. I don't know why I tell you that. Oh, who has a name like Thorn? I like to pretend we're working together. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, I did think of something I forget to keep mentioning to you, Mordornhart, is that 
If you're dealing with the robber baron in the woods and stuff, if you have a detailed map of the area or the Imperials do, I can use the Whispers of the Woods to pinpoint locations they might be so that you're not ambushed or anything like that. They are hiding in forests. It's not even... I'm going to be honest with you, Faye. Had Major Dario heeded my advice and my strategy, we would not have been routed. He cast aside what I had warned him of, swore up and down that Imperial gunpowder would win the day, and I warned him that crossbows can fire faster, and they don't have to control their fire like these night killers do, in lines. They outmaneuver us, they were able to fire more than us. They skirmished down most of the vanguard. Radard troops that I was commanding was left out in the open with no cover. Crossbows cut us down. They charged with light cavalry and we broke. There was literally nothing we could do. If he had kept his night killers in reserve, like I said, Radard men could have fled the tree line, baited their cavalry out, and they would have ran right into a line of halberds and shot. That was not the case. It's not so much them outmaneuvering us as I'm working with a stubborn old ox that only knows how to butcher unarmed people. Makes you look better, at least. <sighs> I don't care about that. If we lose at least three more engagements, they'll be right outside the walls. <laughs> walls with holes in them. <clears throat> I saw them getting repaired on the way in. So it's gonna be a slow process, yeah. very slow. The whole point of what I'm doing with Dario is to try and slow them down. They're not going to face us out in the open. I think they're going to use the roads through the Sabine, the small ones connected to the iron mines that go along the rivers. We'd never see them coming. The entirety of the Imperial line is facing to the north. If they cut around south through the Sabine close to you, they'd be able to come out of Cassetto and have a straight shot into an unguarded flank of the city. Slow moving though, right? We'd be raided before we knew it. Not if it's light infantry. Mm. If he's smart, and this is what I would do, I would keep my shock troopers facing the Imperials. Make a show of it bring out more tents than there are men. But I'd send all my light infantry screening through the woods. If it looked like there was no one there, marching columns, get them going. You know how fast we can move at a jog. Picture men in leather, in formation, doing the same bloody thing. Hmm. Well, if They'd you... be able to sure, take Cassetto. Hmm. Uh, they'd be able to take Cassetto, and then we'd be outmaneuvered. Cassetto and Belano are providing a majority of our food at the moment. Fish. <clears throat> if we lose even one of them, we can expect our food to be cut in half. Well, if this is happening, ships don't we... arrive every day from Corrugated. We could counter by, right? We'd have the trees. They're only in leather. The only way that I think this could work is if I had elven archers. They're fast, unparalleled with their marksmanship. But I don't have that. I'm in close to the ranges, but not that close. They wouldn't want to fight Imperials, surely. They wouldn't want to fight alongside them, either. And even then, what, it's just Marcello and a handful of rangers. They're not operating in a large force. Hmm. They can make it seem like they're a large force. Route them. They move quick, shoot from different yeah, positions. That'd be the only way. The hunters came up was also attacked today by orcs. They had to leave their home. They're willing to risk going through the orcs then, if they're gonna go through the forest. Maybe we could draw the orcs onto them. Hmm. That was the other thought that I had. It is entirely possible 
that any sound of fighting could draw in the orcs. They're not going to attack us <clears throat> through the woods near the embassy because it could be sledgehammered into the ocean. They're going to be exposed. They're going to put a show of it there. They're not going to advance past the tree line. In fact, I doubt they're going to advance towards where the cross keys are. They're not going to use the old battlefield. That would be perfect for the Imperium. No. They're going to cut across the uh, lakes. I'm sorry, the rivers. So if we can catch them when they're trying to do this great big flank of theirs and just make enough noise to draw the orcs in, we achieve our goal of stopping it. We don't need to necessarily beat them, we do just we? need to push them back, right? <sighs> There's another the concern. Wood elves, could have the wood elves put out punty sticks and stuff like that hidden, but then that just makes it hazardous. I to do else. agree with trapping these particular roads, but only right before we know a movement will take place. Okay. Do we have scouts watching? Yes, between whatever Galeel has been able to spare and the Redard soldiers that I think are competent. So, so like three many. of them. Yeah. They're all for two. <laughs> right. Well, at least we're expecting it. At the moment. Right. I need to start getting some documentation together. I'm going to have to bring it to the Baron in the morning. Is there anything I'm needed for? I know that the Dawi wants to talk to me, but I do not have time. Hmm. You're going to have to shoulder this battle for me, <clears throat> my son. Of course. <laughs> my lord. You two are going to need to have a talk, but mm -hmm. probably not tonight. About what? I'm going to be working with the surgeons and their alchemists on mass producing the elixirs and then the cure for everyone that is tainted. Which You're right, we should talk tomorrow. I need to get this ready. It's like a bandage. We gotta rip it off quick. Then we can deal with the fallout. I don't like dealing with your father when he's angry. <laughs> no one does. I don't. I like it when he's smiling. Oh, that's a basket I got for us. Basket. Food and drink in there for us. Yes. Oh, okay. cute. Mm. Oh. I need to go find this. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. <laughs> Please hurry. Tell me what you're gonna say. If you want me to accompany you during the conversation, I am always open. Yeah, I'll let him throw books at you. <laughs> I'll take the brunt of it for you. <laughs> Such is our um, duty. Also, um, Grandfather, let me know when you do eventually want to travel out to the grove and do your research. I'll let you know once I crawl myself out of my bed. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> <sighs> I've asked time to come on inside. I would. <laughs> <clears throat> did you want to talk to me or did you want to wait until I answer the video? Because we can wait. <laughs> I'd like for yourself, your father, and Tang to all be available so I don't have to sure. explain it multiple times, but we can wait until which tomorrow. Way, it doesn't matter. I don't mind. Well, Tang wanted to see it, but probably wanted to see it trying to repair his. 
appendage, so you may want to talk to him about that. Yeah. You might want to still do so. I'm about to head out and start some do forging you... anyway, but yeah. Do you remember what I told you before? You've said a lot of things. Remember what I told you? Elaborate. What I told you about the Eastern Dawe. Yes, it's been on my mind a bit, actually. <sighs> May as well tell you so you can relay it. The... The Warforged isn't quite the same, but... I have seen things like him before. Automatons? In the bones of the Eastern Dawi. Is that what you called them? Yes. Yes. Some of the insights I have on how those work may help you in repairing time. May. There's no guarantee because the Warforged appears to be built in a different manner. But some of his workings, like, for example, the pistons. <clears throat> Very similar to the ones that were used in the automatons. Sure, just the mechanical parts the of it. Automated yeah. soldiers. Gear, steam, pistons, pneumatics. Mm -hmm. The only thing that has me concerned is I still don't know what its source was. And I had a long chat with the Warforged had said, I used to think that that light in his chest was his source. Mm. But he, he turned it out and told me that he can turn it off, which definitely made me think. The automatons were not like the Warforged. They couldn't speak. They were very much a... Uh, you issue a directive and they obey. Mm-hmm. Very simple. They weren't ever designed to be like what I believe our Warforged friend is like. They didn't speak, they didn't have feelings. If they could talk, it wasn't. It was very much simple. Sure. From what I've been told about the Warforges, they are less machine, more related to the soul. If what Tang has told me is true, then he thinks he used to be human or something. And then he was transferred into this, or at least his soul was. So, it's definitely more complex than just a automaton. Very much so. However, the reason I'm a bit concerned the reason I didn't want that thing we found to go to the elves is very simple. I can't trust the elves not to use it. Sure. They would use it as a weapon in a heartbeat. But there is another problem. I spoke with your father before all of this, if you remember. I asked him to speak with me privately. My king gave me directives. Very simple ones to follow, and I've already explained that. However, he gave me another sealed scroll. I was only supposed to end open it when we thought there would be no other recourse. So the day before the Inquisitor arrived, thinking that he would be very much the same as all the others, we have expected this city to be gone. So, I spoke with him and I asked him if he thought that we were out of other options and made the decision to open it. And I regret that decision because of what it told me to do. That thing we found in Karano, hmm. 
I have to find more of them. If I can't get a direct connection with King Ayanda, if I cannot find out why the elves are moving elven contingents over our borders and cannot discern why they are here, I will have to hunt these abominable things to return them to my kingdom. And the only reason I'm telling you this is because you're Arn's son. I don't want you telling anyone else they don't need to know. <clears throat> but I'm telling you. The reason is very simple. Should anything happen to me in any of these excursions, I do not want my brother or my son to ever discover this order. This is my burden to bear, not theirs. And I will not curse them with it. What has me concerned is why they want it. Because I don't understand it. <clears throat> but it concerns me because it relates to the Eastern <coughs> The Eastern Dawei made their contraptions. They made them and as glorious as their discoveries were, it was like an arms race between the Eastern Elves. There was no love lost between the two. Apparently, they want me to find these things to be used in machines that were built by them. That's why I am concerned. Yeah, rightfully I so. I told you I don't know the source for... I don't know the source for the automatons, but I don't think it was anything strange. But, unfortunately, my wife did not like to talk about the East. Did not want to talk about the East. And the only reason I'm telling you this now is because both you and Arn need to know is if you're going back to Gwyn and you're dealing with the Empire, the Eastern Dwarves and their territory is still there. And the Empire has taken things from the Eastern Dawei and the Elves. I'm convinced that they're night killers were a product of research taken from the Eastern Poles. Mm. I don't know what I'm expecting to find, but I have been ordered by my king to find them. If I cannot secure those three things that I spoke of, that is what I must do. Mm -hmm. uh, Tang. <clears throat> Just come in, it's open. Come Just in. come in, it's open. There he is. <clears throat> I intend to share it with Tang, so if you will, I'll explain it to him. This way you know what you're dealing with as well. Yes, it might help you, but I can't guarantee it will. Tang, do you know anything about the Eastern Dwarves? Like, at all? Quite a bit, actually. <clears throat> Would you like for me to regurgitate you know my understanding? By all means, it'll give me a foundation with which to build upon. 
According to my knowledge, the Eastern Dwarves are how the Theosians obtained firearms. Their night killers were derived from Eastern Dwarvish technology and society. Not only that, but their weapons of war, anything that's overly mechanical, they took from Eastern Dwarvish design. I... I swore to my late wife that I wouldn't talk about this. However, the young lass Faye convinced me otherwise, and I have since spoken with Arn and Kyla, both. I have seen the Eastern Holds before they fell, and what were within. I'm probably one of the only Western Dawi to ever have had such a privilege. What I saw there, and what I mentioned to you before, was that I saw that they had something similar to you, if you recall. Not Warforged. These constructions were called automatons. They were of gear and piston. I still do not know the specifics of what powered them, however, I have seen them. I have seen their make, I have seen their design, I have seen their purpose. Most Dawi are convinced that they are myth, as most humans are. However, the pistons on your leg, the reason I know how it worked and why I know it was jammed, is because of exactly that. I've seen automatons. I've seen how they work. I've seen them move. The knocking at the door. <clears throat> the reason I'm telling you this is because <clears throat> might Assuming he's not getting thrown promptly out the door. How can I help? Hello. Um I heard that your father is running the business. Is it you or your father? I'm running the business now. Since he's a lord now. Okay, wonderful. Could I have a quick word with you? What do you need? Um, maybe somewhere private, because uh, it's, it's a tiny, tiny bit sensitive. We're occupied, unfortunately. If it's about that blue sash guy, don't take the deal. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically what I was gonna well, talk about. There's um, there's a merchant going. What? Okay, everyone here knows I was about to say, but go ahead. <clears throat> yeah, we all fucking yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. There's a. That's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> there's a merchant guy going around. I don't know if he talks to this business yet, but uh, basically he's trying to um, like buy everybody out or uh, get like contracts written. Just uh, so, yeah, be careful. That's all I was gonna say. Sure. He's offering like pretty good yeah, stuff, so that's why it's like the ring so i was just wanting a couple <clears throat> of, the, of the folks sure no i appreciate did that did he stop by no not yet we've been very busy today okay oh, yeah. all right well it's really all i had to say just a favor on michael's bf and uh Vezrin, so thanks for that all right have a good evening yeah <clears throat> yeah i saw his man he just went to bed. Dominic well, soon. he's not bad, but he's oh, handling shit. things. What do you need? I might be able to help. Uh, hey, I wanted my bedtime story so I could retire for the night. A bedtime story? Yeah, he's been reading me out of the journal that uh, we found when those guys kidnapped me. Ah. Um. Yeah. Well, if I had it, I could read it to you, but I don't, so... Nah. I don't yeah, have the same okay. voice either. I understand. <clears throat> and yeah, the wall himself is here. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm just checking in on people. And passing along information in case Miss um, Lorelei doesn't get it to you. Hmm. There are orcs being driven southward. Already injured. Something scaring them, I heard. Yes. Well, that's the thing, whether it's something or someone. Hmm. 
There's something occurring. <clears throat> Wonder if they run the <clears throat> Something also to look be at. be careful straying out towards the hunter's camp. He's recently hit. 20 green orcs, one grey. A brawler grey, too. Great. Yes. I'm sure when the rangers come and talk to me again, we will, I'll ask them what's going on. You might also find a stool just sitting out in the middle of the forest. Um, let's just say I have a good friend who... Um, Wanted to show off a bit. Okay. I won't ask. Simply put, do you know what a line breaker is? I could hazard a guess by the name. Go on. Mm. <clears throat> it's one of my kind, but instead of the grace, you see us move with our blades. It is sheer strength and willpower that they use to break through shield walls. An elf with brawn over brains, that's interesting. It's a rarity. Mm hmm. But I would be careful, he has enough strength to dent plate. Alright. And uh, his preferred fighting style is literally punching you. Or commandeering your own weapon and using it as his own. Joke's on them, I don't have plate and my weapon is broken, so I've got all the cards, but <laughs> motherfuckers. Uh, well, mm. If there's a log nearby, he will hit you with a <clears> log. <throat> Great. Mm. He this guy is stealing my pieces. fucking shtick. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I know it fucking <clears throat> sucks, doesn't it? He's it? then old. But... If anything, I, I bet you could probably throw him further. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'll keep my eyes open. As long then. as he doesn't start wielding anchors. Uh, he's not one for that. He prefers literally just in people. I think there's something wrong with him, but... What can I say? <laughs> well, thanks, Galil. Of course. If anything else comes, I'll probably be sure to relay it. Appreciate it. I'm going back to the libraries. Get some rest. There's, there's a development now with the ones that are with Miss Venora. Were you informed about that? About the attack? Yes, and who ended up in? Yeah, I heard about that. <clears throat> we managed to get him out and away. But if he knows, there's going to be a lot of problems in the future. Yeah, she's too nice for her own good. Yeah. I'm not worried about her, I'm worried about him. <clears throat> that emissary is dangerous. So I've been told. We'll keep an eye on him. Get me if anything changes. Tread lightly. Always. He's one of the strongest of his house. But, that's enough news for the evening. Shouldn't keep you up. Thanks, Galil. Always Do rest well. Likewise. <clears throat> Take care, Miss Torty. Oh, I'm assuming you're remember. somewhere over there. I can't see. <laughs> I envy your ability to see at night. <laughs> that's no, a not that hard. Over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. it's just... Some of us don't want to remember what it's like. Old memories die hard. Mm. Yeah, they will. I got this... One of my daggers got bent to shit. But you can straighten it back out. Find me the exit. 
Yeah, I'll add it to my list though. I'm working on a shitload of orders right now since everyone got their stuff. I yeah, figured as much. Uh, iron, I assume. I would have brought it to you sooner, but you're impossible to find some days. Yep. Um. Do, 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 do. Dredge. Really? <clears throat> um, that would be. Oh, fuck, of course. You stupid fucking guy. Uh, two silver to have it repaired. I assume it's a repair, right? Uh, it's fine, it's pretty much the same amount. Bent. Damage Yeah, Yeah, that'll be that, yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, come back late tomorrow. <laughs> like, night time tomorrow. Late it tomorrow? should be done. Yeah. yeah. Alright. You gonna pay now or later? Give you a silver now. Okay, half now, half later. Thank you. Yeah. Okie dokie. Thank you, Dredge. Of <clears throat> I'm gonna be up late. Forging away. We thank you for your work, Shari. <laughs> How are you holding up, Miss Torty? Hey, so bad everywhere. Yeah. I got dr I, I drank a lot and it I you know that's the funny thing. I drank a lot, I feel it on the edge. I'm just saying you know, <sighs> before I actually start being drunk drunk. Normally that's where pain fades, and it's still super fucking achy. I moved everything earlier, don't okay, worry. Good. <laughs> I'll give you this busted <laughs> chainmail as a pillow. There you go. Oh, yay. Thank you. <clears throat> mm, perfect. Oh. Ah, yeah, it's the pinchiest of armors. It's okay. Just put something over it. All that hair is just I'm most all devastated about my fucking sword. Yeah. It looked pretty uh, important to you. When yes. I make something again, I might make something as close to memory as I can, but it obviously won't be the same. I'm sorry for that. Yeah, I appreciate it. It was uh, my first, first real sword, right? Uh, the guys used to give me... Uh, it was a you know, oversized dagger, I guess, when I was younger to fend for myself, but then that was the real weapon they gave me when I proved myself. I shank some guy that tried to get on our boat, and they're like, you're supposed to call for our help, but here's a knife to, since you did so good. And I'm like, yay! And now it's gone. Well, the plus side about this is that we can make you something custom. Anything that you didn't like about that sword, we can amend in this new one. Different hilt, different pommel. We can make something that's really you rather than your crew. Hmm. Completely up to you, though. That's fair. I just don't know what I want. <clears throat> yeah. Plenty of time to think on it. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks. Of course. You weren't too bored without us, were you, Drudge? Oh, I've, I've been laid up in my tent for the last day. Broken rib and all. Oof, yeah, those are nasty. Yeah. Throw club got me right in the side and I flew into a building. <laughs> I didn't go through the wall, which is probably the worst part. Yeah, well. Mm. I feel like that would have been less painful. Yeah, and then you got the rocky cushions. <laughs> As someone who had a building collapse on them when I was <laughs> away. Not a fun thing to experience. Yeah. Yeah. It sucks. Fuck. Holy shit. I gotta finish this Dude. conversation and ah. then I'll be back out forging through the rest of the night. So if you want to yeah. stay here and keep me company, by all ah. means, if you got other things, go ahead. Sure. I'll be here. Yes, yeah. Shurik, I have so many important <clears throat> and busy things to be doing. I figured as much. <laughs> you look very important and... <laughs> <laughs> look, it's, you can thank Baron for that. She did very good on the clothes. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Did you notice that he's been keeping an eye on the market? He was keeping an eye on the market stalls and their produce. He was keeping tabs of what was coming in and out of the city via these random walks. <clears throat> He's very much more intelligent than people think. Do you two need me for this conversation still? Or? I've had the chat with him. Hmm? I don't know. I've had the chat with him. The only thing I would need to do is relate to your father when you can. Although that might be difficult given that both he and I will be at the castle more than likely tomorrow. Hmm. And there was something that I actually wanted to bring up with you as well. At least something to make you aware of. I'm not sure if I brought it up before or otherwise. This last time with repairing Strider, did I tell you about something that he informed me of? You might have to refresh my memory. <clears throat> well, for one thing, a list of names of people who have clearance of changing his mission parameters. Well, that's handy. I don't suppose I'm on it. And another thing... No. Unless your name is Grafith Salith. What the fuck? Elvin? I have no idea. Hmm. Could be Elvin, could be Dwarvish. I don't know nationalities in terms of names. Sounds but... Elvish. One way or another, he mentioned those names and something called an assembly chamber. Apparently, this assembly chamber is how Warforged are upgraded, given more enhanced abilities, stronger reflexes, faster response times. <clears throat> hmm. If that is something that we... Did he tell you where one of these things might be? That is what I need the names for. When I asked for the closest location of an assembly chamber, he said clearance not authorized. Or at least he asked for a password. <clears throat> one that I did not have. Mm. Passphrase, specifically. Likely, it's something to do with whatever organization or group put us together in the first place. So not passphrase one? So... <laughs> no, I'm not going to try... Okay, look at me and tell me that you would stand in the middle of the road talking to a machine that is capable of bending you backwards and tearing you in seven different pieces. And do you want to sit there trying passwords until he gets upset? He already would have been upset. He would have stabbed me before I had a chance to talk to him. Next question. Well, theoretically, if you <clears> have a chance to. I yes. fucking would have tried something I think like... I think I've encountered your strider, given the fact that I saw someone on top of the roof. I was concerned enough. That also we heard you is on the roof. Him. Also, he's hunting fish. Yes, that we heard him. you on the roof, and from what I was told, he doesn't really <clears throat> like my kind much. He, Not a, him. he attacked Faye oh, and the Elven signature. In terms of his mission parameters, he used to take out any. Th Pass phrase one. Pass phrase two. Pass phrase keep getting pulled into conversations, I want to wrap up. <laughs> I wanted to wrap up like 40 minutes ago. <laughs> Pass phrase. <laughs> Why don't you ask? Don't you want to know? They're doing speak with the dead. 
Funny you say that. Oh, no. God. <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> Trader. Come on. That's he wants me to go in there. If he wants you to Which go is... in it, he should have <clears throat> given you a location. That's the thing. He already thinks that. Due to me. But it's also possible it might do that anyway, but he's locked behind certain parameters that he can't give. But I'm just going to be. I'm going to talk so around in circles about this all day. I was just trying to make you aware of the two things. There is something known as an assembly chamber. That is capable of upgrading or improving <clears throat> Warforged. Oh, and by the way, Strider is built for assassinations and is able to detect the unseen. Love it. <clears throat> oh, trust me. I, after he said assembly chamber and that could be something that he's able to give me, it would be very useful if I was able to see threats before they could come. But... What I wanted to tell you was the name of the one name that was still known to be alive, Grafith Solith, mm. and the <clears> knowledge <throat> of these assembly chambers, wherever they may be, wherever they may be. Well, it's known to be alive. Yes, all of the other names on the list are dead. He let he when I asked for known users, or known accepted people with clearance. Like, high enough authority to be able to give those <clears throat> coordinates. He gave me a list of names, many of which were dead, aside from the last one. Which is alive. Does he know where? Last known position unknown. That's a... oxymoron. He only knows <clears throat> he's alive. But he doesn't know where he is. Well, we got more puzzle pieces at least, so that's Apparently it's safer that way. So if you see that <coughs> name pop up anywhere, please let me know. Breath of Silith. I've already been kept in the dark about a lot of things already. All I'm gonna say when it comes to this is be careful. Like I said, from what you told me, it's tied to the soul, which makes it probably some sort of magical nonsense. Which means most of the stuff I know probably won't help. Unless you need me, I need to uh, Who knows? get to work. So. Oh no, I'm planning on retiring. I'm planning on freeing <laughs> you from my presence. So yeah, I was going as well. I need to see your sister about a glowing magical rock. Yep, I'm gonna. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> this is too much for me. <laughs> no. Listen, I'll give you the bookend. I've been waiting about an hour and a half for your father and his partner to fix my arm and leg. Hmm. She has something that's able to do it in two seconds. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> well. I wanted them to try first, so I didn't waste it. I... But better to have my arm and leg than have your everybody stuck inside of a castle meeting. Fair enough. I'm sure if I would just slip a silver under his door, he'll forgive us, though, you know? Oh god, you scared me out like icy movement! Uh... Who's forgiving uh... you? You are about to be expunged. Huh? No. You. Okay, good day. <laughs> I will try again tomorrow morning. <clears throat> that doesn't work. I got my own methods. And if all else fails, you can put your hand on that anvil, and I can... I've already asked Tordy to work on the anvil. <clears throat> that, that is the last resort, Dredge. There are still people who need me, Either and my sister would be very upset. Or it's upset. not your issue any longer. <laughs> <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Listen. Not only would you have an upset mute on your hands, you would also have an upset girl who is yet to come into town. Upset girl hasn't yet come into town. 
<laughs> before we do that thing, I could always try to take the dead out. <laughs> I'm sure if I press hard enough, they'll pop right back into place. You would think that. Probably don't even need the hammer. Mm. You know what? He would damage it more than anything, Tang. Yeah. You know that. No, I know. I'm getting <clears> the <throat> If, and only if, you see me crumbled on the ground on a battlefield that we are fighting together on. Okay, okay. You can assist me in putting things back the way that they should be. At that point, I'm more liable to use you as a weapon myself, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but at least put me in a way that I'm not going to destroy myself if you do so. Deal. True. All right. Deal. We already had to put my arm in a sling and my leg in a brace, otherwise it would just tear themselves apart and make it worse. Normally the hammer sound fucking suck, but <clears throat> they're okay tonight. <laughs> you don't have to stay if it gets too annoying. I need to be around people. Well, I'll endure anything. I'll be up most of the night, so feel free to stay. I'll look after you. Hell yeah. Bell time. <sighs> Are we going to tell Vezrin how close you came to kicking the bucket? Mm. I mean, he's going to see I the scarves. I can't exactly... I can't exactly hide all my new spots. <clears throat> I mean, I think it'd be pretty funny. You should act really surprised. <laughs> when he points it out, go, Oh my god! It's like a when did that get there? Where did, I get, where did that come from? <laughs> How'd that happen? Whoa. Hmm. Oh no, I ran into more jellyfish. <clears throat> that was my excuse for him when we first met and he asked about them. I was like, I'm really allergic to jellyfish. <laughs> Jellyfish I, I heard the couple going around town. Uh, one of the ones yeah. I heard was uh, house fire. No, no, no! It's a boat fire. I was in a boat fire. Oh, boat fire. Yep. Let's see. There's, <coughs> there's a island out there with uh four trident five five trident. That's the one you told me uh, about. Very sexy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, you wake up like me, so we'll do it. Look, the five Triton Lady Island is real. And they are good at sex. <laughs> they just don't- they weren't responsible for my spots. Where is this magical island? I must know. <laughs> I have a new Last quest. Direction. Actually, Bartholomew knows. Wait, no, come back. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wonder, I wonder if that's where the, I wonder if that's where the Triton who used to work here went. Oh, the sex, the Triton sex island? Please don't say that. Yeah. <coughs> rumor and had to go, see for themselves. <laughs> yeah, apparently Bartholomew also went there too. That's wild. Of course he did. <laughs> Doesn't surprise I mean, me. I can speak better, Claire. I... If it wasn't for the yeah. fact that I watched him speak Medicoy, I, I can't say I can believe him now. Speak what? Speak Medicoy. You uh, know what the Medicoy is? Nope. They're fish things. They're like fish so people, but triton, not like tritons. If, yeah. <laughs> think if they were like a triton, but like more fish than person. Like. Yeah. All they do is gargle, and they're like invasive pests. They like swarm coastlines and like 
<clears throat> and fuck a lot. Yeah. Uh, so like a picture, you take like a raw fish that is like alive, mm -hmm. and just give it yeah. like tiny people legs and people arms. That's it. Yeah. No. Literally. Imagine. Okay. A, I hate to say it. Imagine a fish head with like a really <laughs> fat belly. Uh huh. And, and like weird man arm and legs. That's that's a better koi. Is, it's really unpleasant yeah. to look at. Is the fish man in the room with us now? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <clears throat> no. If you go to like the any coastal cave, you'll probably find them. Yeah. Yeah. I swear, the adventures that you're you two get on. And slimy. You could write a novel about it. <laughs> yeah, I was kidnapped. Yeah, I was kidnapped at gunpoint. Oh. Hmm. I was there. Yeah. Mostly for fun. Yeah. Yeah. Would a gun do anything to you? Like, at all? I don't want to risk that. That's, I, that would be like being shot by a cannon, but the cannon is small. And I know cannons just, like, completely... I seen a man shot with a cannon once. There was <clears> not <throat> much left. Mm. I don't want to really test that with the little versions. Well, as someone who's been shot by the little versions multiple times, it's not fun. I think I could take like one or two, maybe, but after that, I'm not pressing my luck. That's where this is from. Oh no shit! It's it, like the worst place to get. Ugh. I'm surprised I could keep moving my hand. Works. I thought about yeah. it. Yeah, it's really rough. Yeah. Sometimes in cold nights, it it's a little tight, but mm. other than that, it's pretty good. Not the same as it used to be, though. Wow. Did it hit the bone? Or did it just slip between? I think it clipped it. Fucking close, though. <clears throat> That's why Lucky. I wear my gloves. Holy yeah. Shit. yeah. F -f a little self-conscious about it. Yeah, I know... I know breaking that one of those bones, like, completely ruins your hand. Cool. Yep. Situation right there. I nearly lost everything that made it's me me. While Moses didn't let me shake anyone's hand. Yeah, <clears throat> I can imagine. But yeah, the reason you, the, the fact that you break those bones in someone's hand, it really just ruins the hand. Is why I wasn't allowed to shake people's hands <laughs> for a while. Because they'd break your hand. <laughs> no, because I'd break theirs. <laughs> yeah, I know. And Knowles just knew I... I would have stopped him. Mm. <sighs> oh, yeah, do you know anything about why there was a, uh... I don't know what they call the, the really, really big sword hanging out right outside my shop? By uh, chance? What? There is a really, really big sword, like ones that you have to hold with two hands and like barely wieldy. Not me. Alright. I assume it's someone wanting a sheath or some <clears throat> shit. Probably. Uh, You're fine uh, right to fix shop. that armor that I threw in through the window, right? Yep, yep, it's uh, on my table. <clears throat> Appreciate it. Well, you know what this yeah. means, Tori? Uh. However long you wait for that shit to be uh, resold. If no one comes to claim the sword, that's metal for yours. Right. Yeah. That's true, actually. And if they didn't leave a name or anything, then I mean, really, maybe it's just a donation. You know, otherwise they would have left like You're a note right. or something. It's a very <clears throat> generous donation. <laughs> <sighs> there we go. Back to your former glory. Is that one of yours? Yeah, this is my one. It got a little busted. 
when you cut through mm. literally hundreds of people, it it's gonna warp and bend and. That shit sucks. Yeah. Yeah. At least it didn't explode like Sarah's knife. That was weird. That was really weird. A lot of stuff was really weird. Yeah. We don't need to talk about that though. Yeah. Weird stuff is becoming woody <clears throat> normal. <laughs> when weird becomes normal. Yeah. yeah I don't it like can it. Only get I don't like the amount of here. the amount <laughs> of things I have seen that shouldn't fucking exist are getting increasingly frustrating. Yeah, welcome to the party, pal. All right. I'm going to keep uh, forging at this, but I'm going to be gone while I do it, so... <clears throat> Have a nice night, you two. Sounds good. I can't... I can't believe you just crawled into the rafters. <laughs> <gasps>